Welcome back to the Walters Showroom Update. I'm your host, Zach. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Walters Proto Southern Pacific C30-1 class cabooses. These cabooses are just getting stocked here at Walters, so in about a week or two you should start to see them at your dealer's shops. Um, Southern Pacific built over 600 of these cabooses. 600. That means that by far it is the largest series of cabin cars that they had to work with on their freight lines. They used them on both their main lines and their subsidiary lines. Uh, they were in use from the 1920s through the mid-1960s, and they were the first to use the Harriman Common Standard Designation System. The designation tells you basically this. C, caboose, 30, weighs over 30 tons, dash 1, the first in the series. But what it doesn't tell you is that it's the first series that used a full steel underframe. Gave it a lot more rigidity, a lot more durability, and that's why it was in use for four decades. So let's take a closer look. C30-1 design incorporated a riveted steel underframe, which you can see here, and it was a major improvement over its predecessors, which used wooden center sills. This is basically a sturdier and safer design, uh, so it was a major upgrade for their system. You can also see on the body that you've got the flush fitting windows, and then also in the cupola you've got flush fitting windows as well. And throughout the entire car you can see all these painted and factory applied grabs on the sides, on the ends, and then on top of the cupola. And of course, the caboose would not be complete if it weren't for SP's signature smoke jack with braces, which is a very unique looking spotting feature that SP had. Uh, the model has a very substantial amount of weight. You can't really see that on video, um, but despite its small stature, it's got some good heft to it. And with Walters Proto Metal Axle Metal Wheel, wheel Sets, they're going to run smooth as silk. All right, we've got all four paint schemes that are available in this run here to show you. Um, and they should all be available real soon at your local hobby shop or at walters.com, so be sure to check them out. Um, one thing to say about these is that the lettering holds most of the difference. And we're leading off with the Roman lettering with the bars. Uh, and that's followed by the modern Gothic that we were looking at before with the orange ends. And then you have the version with the reporting marks only. And then the Roman lettering without the bars. Thank you for joining us. I hope the SP fans out there are quite pleased with the model. Uh, they're actually going to be a perfect complement to our upcoming Walters Proto SD9s that are coming later on this fall. So be sure to check both of those out. Next week we're going to stay firmly entrenched in the 1920s as we take a look at the new Walters Proto Type 21 tank cars.